I reviewed this Toolkit RC M60 AC charger recently and as far as I'm concerned it's a fantastic charger. You can charge most battery chemistries up to 6S and because it's AC or DC powered it means you can power it directly off your mains outlet on here and that makes this a 200 watt charger or you can use the DC input using a DC supply or even a spare LiPo like this and that will make it up to a 700 watt charger. But if you fly DJI drones, this is the only charger that you'll ever need. Don't bother with the stock DJI or aftermarket chargers. This is the one that you need. And I'll explain why. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Although I've covered this in other videos, there's been a load of questions about what this charger charges other than your regular LiPo and lithium ion batteries. Let's move those out of the way for a minute. So here I've got a 1350 mAh 6S. Charging this is dead easy. You just plug it in, plug in the balance port. Uh, I've got LiPo selected. I'm just going to hit start. And off we go. It's charging nice and simple. Just stop that for the minute. Couldn't be easier. And you can charge two of these in parallel because there's two sets of ports on here. But one of the things that people don't really know about is that you can use this to charge your Mavic batteries, your Phantom batteries, and even your Mavic Mini 2 batteries. So let me explain. Uh, that's the right lead. So all you need is one of these leads and I'll leave a link to where you can get hold of these. It's basically a Mavic battery connector on the bottom there, an extension lead, and I put an XT60 on here. Plug that in there. And we go here. Now this is where you select the battery type. It was on LiPo. Scroll down here and this is the secret one it's not really that secret but it's not well known uav bat hit return and i'm going to choose mavic 2 it pre-selects 3.8 amps hit start so it's a bit warm this one the fans come on and we're charging our mavic 2 battery and i could charge two of these in parallel no problem at all let's just stop that a second so that covers that but we can also charge phantom batteries this is out of my p4p which i use for surveying again i've got a lead that plugs into the bottom so an xt60 plug that in there select start and i'm going to pick phantom as you can see you've got a choice of mavic 2 Mavic S, yes, that means Spark, uh, Inspire, and Phantom. So let's choose Phantom. It's pre-selected 5.8 amps. There we go. Charging this up. By the way, that fan's not on all the time. I've been using this on and off all day, so it's a little bit warm. It comes on at about 30 degrees, I think. Okay, let's just stop that. So I could charge up two phantom batteries in parallel off this one charger at full whack basically okay. now on the back of this charger is its secret weapon doesn't look like much does it it's a little USB-C socket that allows you to update the firmware on here and you might think you could just use that to charge up a phone or a tablet or your goggles or something and you can but this is a multi-protocol usb output that supports all the usual smart usb-c protocols and delivers anything up to 65 watts at 20 volts at 3.25 amps that's 65 watts that's incredible so you can use it to charge phones and tablets that understand modern charge protocols and it supports PDA, PD, AFC, I can't remember all of them. But importantly, it supports Quick Charge or QC, which is a few variants. 
Now, I'm not gonna cover how this works in this video, but it simply means that the USB output on here can provide various voltages and currents. So if you've got a normal USB charger or an outlet, something like on this or on a wall outlet, you'll get five volts at somewhere between maybe what one or two amps, some as much as 2.5. Uh, but when you plug a device, let's say this Mini 2 charge hub in here, the charger negotiates with the device. So basically the charger says to the device, what do you want? And the device responds and says, give me 20 volts at 3.25 amps. And that's what the charger delivers. So it's an intelligent fast charge port. So to demonstrate this, let me see, we need one of these leads. So this is a fairly standard, well, completely standard USB-C on both ends and it's designed for fast charging. You can buy these on Amazon, they're not very expensive. So if we plug that in the back there, before we do that actually, just let me show you what happens with a normal charge port. So this is a five volt um, USB power pack. And if I plug that into the USB-C input on my Mini 2 charge hub. Blue lights are on, I don't know if you can see that, but that means it's actually powered up. And we can see that this is charging. It's ding, 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 going quite slowly. And the way these charge hubs work, it starts charging the battery that needs the least charge first and then works its way around. Okay, so that's what would happen. It doesn't matter if you plug it into one of these or a USB wall charger you're still going to get this same sort of behavior. But if we take the M6DAC, or in fact an M6D, and plug in our USB-C charge lead, watch what happens. It ticks away slowly for a bit and then it goes super fast. And if you can see on here, this says on the status bar at the top, the USB-C is using PDF protocol and it's delivering 12.1 volts at 1.2 amps because the charger, when it was plugged in, had a chat with this device and the device said, that's what I can accept. So that's what the charge is delivering. So this will charge this these three batteries fast. So this is the DJI smart controller and the battery on here isn't replaceable. You have to charge through the USB socket at the bottom. And again, to demonstrate the sort of behavior we get on here, if I take my USB power pack and plug it into the USB socket on the bottom, this just laboriously charges away. In fact, a good indicator is if we turn that on come on right we're up and running so let's plug that in there now started charging watch what happens eventually come on there we go you get a little message saying Current charging speed slow. Please use the charger that comes with the device for a faster charging speed. That's because this supports quick charge. And when you buy this controller, you get one of these wall sockets, which you can plug this into and it will charge twice as quick as if you're using a regular USB um, wall adapter or one of these charge hubs or battery USB power packs. Just turn that off because it's going to swamp out the camera. There we go. So using the same principle, if we plug our USB-C cable in here and plug this into the charge port on the smart controller, if I can get it in, it's going to sit there, starts off charging slowly, it's having a bit of a chit chat and it's now charging fast and the charger on here is saying that it's using quick charge to 12.1 volts at nearly two amps 
so this is fast charging. We don't need to be near a mains outlet to use this, we can power it off a DC supply, but if we're out in the field we can use an old LiPo, this is a 10 ampere hour LiPo that I use when I'm in the field, let's just turn that off and plug this in. the right way around. Fantastic. So this is now powered off this old LiPo here. So I could be charging up regular LiPos on here. I could be charging up my Mavic 2 batteries. I could be charging up my Phantom batteries. Or I could even be charging up my Mavic Mini 2 batteries. So let's just see that this is working as we expect. So let's try it on the smart controller again. Uh, sitting there, sitting there, just negotiated. I just saw it up here. Now we're in fast charge. So we can set up here QC2, 12.1 volts, 1 1.9 amps. So don't ignore what this very clever charger is capable of. There's not much it can't handle, and if you're a DJI drone owner, it's a saviour. And that's why I based my ultimate charge case build on a couple of the earlier versions, the DC versions of these, the M6D. So it means whether you're connected to the wall out, outlet or you're using a DC supply or an old LiPo like this, you can charge up fast your DJI smart controller, your Mavic 2 batteries, your Mavic mini batteries, your... Phantom 4 Pro batteries or even Inspire batteries if you want. I think this charger is fantastic. It covers absolutely everything. The only thing I'd like to see is maybe another USB-C port on the back. That would make this complete as far as I'm concerned. So, as always, thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you want to see more like this, Remember to subscribe and hit the bell thing down here to get notified when I post new content. I'll see you next time.